Hi everybody, passing along information that was passed along to me, the ITC reignited. Oh wow. It reignited. Here we go again. Deer Park, Harris County, Houston, Texas. More smoke for you guys, more chemicals. And if you look closely at this smoke, you will see some pink and reddish colors. Not just the very dark gray. Can you see it? Maybe you'll have to click on the link below to watch it yourself. Now, this is live. Uh, let's go. That's at the beginning. And let's just check it out that this uh, chemical spill and fire have caused and the distress they've caused so many people in the last couple of days. Yeah, we're all keeping our fingers crossed that there are no more flare-ups as they try to remove all that product from that from that area there. What about this? I'm oh, very okay. excited. I are so These are vapor. They've been saying during this live broadcast, I did listen to it for a few minutes, uh, <laughs> that they don't know what chemicals are in this uh, in these tanks and burning off into the air that you breathe so it looks like the smoke has died down which is a good sign maybe they are getting it under control let's see flooding now it's will Willington Missouri flooding, more flooding, more flooding. More towns in Missouri have been evacuated. Low-lying part of St. Joseph evacuated as Missouri River crests at near record levels. The Missouri River is expected to crest Saturday night. Several areas evacuated. Um, St. Joseph's, well, Craig, we know. Uh, has been submerged Willington and since it's going to continue until Saturday evening we could be looking at more towns evacuated Parkville is another one okay but look at this Missouri lawmaker introduces bill that would require residents to own an AR-15 Wow. Well, that sure is different. And maybe this lawmaker knows something. Knows something that is about to happen. Who knows? But I wanted to show you this. Whoa. Whoa. Never saw this on this site. Is it a glitch? Or are we looking at massive pulses? This was supposed to be the bomb cyclone that was to hit the Northeast. Well, it never manifested into a bomb cyclone. But you can see all of the extremely low frequencies. Uh, if this is not a glitch and this is due to the pulsating pulsating uh, radar, the Doppler radar, then we're looking at intense, intense pulses. So where is that bomb cyclone? Hmm. Didn't manifest. We sure have Doppler radar. Uh, 
um, pulsing out frequencies. Are we looking at more rain for Nebraska? Kansas? Perhaps. I, you know, this, what they are doing, it really is making it very hard to determine whether or not weather is actually happening. But Southern California is still, <laughs> still lighting up like a Christmas tree. All right, what else do we have? We've got next dose of spring snow to arrive early next week in northeastern U.S. Let's see. We'll continue throughout the northeast on this Friday. The combination of wind and snow and rain and battering surf will lead to Definitely some travel disruptions as well as coastal concerns. And notice some of the wind speeds here, upwards of 40 to 45, close to 50 miles per hour in gusts. The highest winds tonight for much of the interior and coastal portion of the northeast into early Saturday. You can notice uh, some spots could be topping 55, even close to 60 miles per hour. So isolated damaging winds with the potential for power outages and tree damage. That will all be a possibility. Oh, At the same is. time, the snow well underway now as we talk about areas from Utica to Syracuse north of Albany. So again, the Hudson Valley lower elevations here mainly looking at rain. But as you add some elevation to the mix or go far enough north and west, a completely different story. Also, the Berkshires, the Green, the White Mountains into western Maine looking at heavy snow today into tonight with very difficult travel. Now, the wind, of course, playing a role in that, and the combination of the heavy wet snow and the wind will likely lead to some power outages. Check out. How are you guys doing up in this area? Let us know, please. I do want to um, also, uh, I forgot to mention that power has been turned off. Kansas City Power and Light says that because of the flooding, crews have shut off power to some customers in five communities, including St. Joseph, which has a population of 75,000. Yep. And the town of Elwood, 1,200 residents have been urged to leave. Wow. A whole lot is going on. Vaughn, when did we start naming winter storms? When? And, you know, look, these forecasts, boy, are these meteorologists getting some flack in their real life from people? Like, are they being laughed at? Because they report things in such a dramatic way, and then it doesn't happen. And... Sometimes it does when that's really unfortunate, but listen to this. Well, we now have a named winter storm in the Northeast. We're calling it Winter Storm Vaughn. And this is kind of a weird situation because normally, you know, we know a day or two ahead that there are going to be this many people under warnings, this large of an area, so it meets our criteria. And so we'll put out, you know, the name of the storm in advance. But this is just kind of interesting because the storm is in progress already, and we got some late warnings that came out from the Weather Service. And so... Did you hear that? All right. The storm was in progress already, and then we got the warnings. And this is kind of unusual. Normally we get warnings, but they don't have any clue what the hell is going on with the weather as well. Just wanted to let you know that the Oregon grass fire is uh, under control. It did climb up to 189 acres. All evacuations have been lifted, and it doesn't seem that any homes were burnt down, which is really good. No homes or structures have been burned. But hey, let's talk about Mueller. Oh my God, finally, the investigation's over. It's concluded public still in the dark though dc gripped countdown to leaks no more indictments we have so many americans 
who are in desperate need of help. But let's focus on this shit that goes on endlessly. Yep, priorities. All links are below.